Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the fourth video in IB Physics Topic 4, Waves, where we will be looking at two-wave phenomena, reflection and refraction. Before watching this video, ensure you have watched our previous three IB Physics Topic 4 videos, outlining important fundamentals on waves. When these waves interact with matter, they undergo reflection, refraction or diffraction, collectively described by the umbrella term wavefront behaviour. Before detailing each of these processes, it is important to understand an important difference in the mechanics of reflection and refraction within electromagnetic waves. In most waves, energy is transferred through large particles. As a result, the energy absorption properties of surface particles cause reflection and refraction patterns. However, in electromagnetic waves, energy is transferred through smaller particles, electrons, each electron oscillates in place and re emits a secondary wave, thus becoming a new wave source. As a result, the interference patterns of these emitted waves cause reflection and refraction patterns. Regardless, both mechanisms involve wave interference, and so can be described by their wavefront behaviour. Let's look at how this occurs, starting with reflection. Reflection is defined as the scattering of a wave when it hits the surface of a medium. This can occur in two ways, perfect reflection or diffused reflection. Perfect reflection is when a single incident ray is scattered as a single ray. For light waves, this typically occurs with smooth metallic surfaces. This is because free electrons in the metal re-emit waves that destructively interfere with the incident wave and produce a reflection. For sound waves, this typically occurs with smooth hard surfaces. This is because the particles cannot absorb the energy and vibrate well, instead reflecting it. Diffuse reflection is when a single incident ray is scattered as many rays. For light waves, this typically occurs with rough, non-metallic surfaces. This is because non-metals have internal structural irregularities that cause multiple reflections, and rough surfaces have external irregularities that cause multiple reflections. For sound waves, this typically occurs with rough, hard surfaces. This is because hard materials reflect sound and rough surfaces reflect in multiple directions, both previously discussed. In IB Physics, you will only see problems involving perfect reflection. So let's look at this in more detail. The rays involved in perfect reflection can be broken down into the incident ray coming in at an incident angle to the normal, theta i, and the reflected ray, leaving at a reflected angle to the normal, theta r. These are related by the law of reflection, which states that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. Let's consolidate this with a practice question. Compare and contrast perfect and diffuse reflection. Perfect reflection is when a single incident ray is scattered as a single ray, whereas diffuse reflection is when a single incident ray is scattered as many rays. Perfect reflection typically occurs with smooth surfaces, where diffuse reflection typically occurs with rough surfaces. For light waves, perfect reflection occurs on metallic surfaces, whereas diffuse reflection occurs on non-metallic surfaces. For sound waves, perfect and diffuse reflection both occur on hard surfaces. However, when the surface is slightly transparent and allows part of the incident ray to pass through, a transmitted ray is formed. How this transmitted ray behaves is related to its level of refraction. Refraction is the change in direction of a wave when it crosses from one medium, N1, to another, N2, due to a change in wave speed. Just like reflection, the rays involved in refraction can be broken down into the instant ray coming in at an instant angle, theta i to the normal, the refracted ray transmitted at a refracted angle, theta r to the normal. Unlike reflection, these two angles are never the same. How the instant ray refracts primarily depends on the optical or acoustic density of the second medium. If the second medium is denser than the first medium, the wave refracts towards the normal. Thus, the instant angle is greater than the refracted angle. A simple explanation for this is that the denser medium decreases the wavelength thus bending the wave inward and decreasing its speed. If the second medium is less dense, or rarer than the first medium, 
the wave refracts away from the normal. Thus, the incident angle is less than the refracted angle. A simple explanation for this is that the rarer medium increases the wavelength, thus bending the wave outward and increasing its speed. So, how can this phenomenon actually be quantified? Well, the density of each medium is described as a constant n, called the refractive index. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.